Father, help us to keep our attention on you and to respond to your word more than anything. Help us to remain patient and trust your timing in all things. Help us to make decisions based on what you say. In Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, we will listen to you when you speak to us. Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Wednesday, September 13, 2023. This is Law 4, the key you open heaven, a guide to close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah is an evil language. Hallelujah song will never say to our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic for this morning is wait patiently. Wait patiently. And let me find, let me find the book of Psalm 40, verse 1. I read. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. In our Bible reading for today, they will say he waited patiently for the Lord. These statements could be interpreted to mean I waited for God time. This is because God has a timetable he work with, as we see in our Psalm 102, verse 13. This, however, does not mean that God is bound by time. For example, in Isaiah 38, verse 8, when the king wanted a sign that God has heard his prayer, the prophet said confidently that the sun would move then the great back wall, and it was so. In Joshua, then, 12 to 14, God helped Joshua stop the sun from setting to the Israelites, who finished off their enemies. In John 11, verse 21, we read to Jesus that he came too late as her brother was already dead. But the Lord reversed the irreversible. And Lazarus came back to life. God can reverse time for your sake too. Just ensure you wait, especially on whom in faith. I would appreciately could also mean God, you are my last pastor. I am not going anywhere else until you answer me. In Genesis 32, verse 24 to 29. Jacob refused to let the angel go unless he blessed him. It may interest you to know that God likes it when you refuse to let him go until he bless you. In Luke 18, verse 1 to 8, Jesus taught about persistence, prayer using the example of a widow who would not let the wicked church rest until she caught justice. He explained that. If you stay put with God, you will get what you are asking for. The daughter of the woman in Matthew 15, verse 22 to 29, was delivered of unclean spirits because her mother refused to leave Jesus alone. Even when he told her to go away, since she was she was in a jail. David said, after waiting patiently for the Lord, it inclined to him. Psalm 40 When God inclined his ear unto you, you can be sure that you will receive your miracle. Because whenever God pay attention to someone, a miracle always follows. Which patiently on God, he is never late. With patiently on God, he is never late. Ready? 
I want us to read the book of Psalm 40, verse 1 to 4. And our Bible in one year, Daniel 9, verse 12. Our hymn in 21, standing on the promises of Christ, my King. Standing on the promises of Christ, my King. Our key point for today, never be in a hurry with God. Never be in a hurry with God. And I pray, my Father in heaven, we supply all your need in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, this is no for. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe, like, and share. And the goodness of God will never live your life. Have a nice day and bye for now. Good PS. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.